Hi, my name is Caroline Dunn, personal trainer, nutrition coach and yoga teacher, helping you get stronger in mind, body and spirit. Today's practice is focused on the hamstrings, so you will need some sort of strap, belt or band such as this one for today's practice. So when you're ready, come on down to the mat. Now initially, just have your band, strap or belt off to the side so that it is within easy reach as we lie down. Then start to make your way onto your back and we're going to begin in constructive rest pose. So bend your knees, planting the soles of the feet on the mat and then step the feet nice and wide so that they are about match distance apart. Gently knock your knees together and then invite you to place one hand onto heart and one hand onto belly. Closing the eyes, and we'll take our three grounding breaths. So on your next breath in, take a long breath in through your nose. And then open your mouth and sigh the breath out. And again, breathing in. And take a long sigh out. And breathing in. And sighing out. And now closing the mouth, allow the breath to come back in and out through the nose. Just noticing how your body has landed in space on the mat today. And starting to notice the natural rise and fall of your body underneath your hands. And take one more breath like this. And then releasing your hands to either side of your hips and walking your feet in so that they are about hip distance with the knees pointing towards the sky. Now take your band, strap or belt and place it in both hands. Now as you next breathe in, lift your right leg up to the sky and hook your band, strap or belt around the middle of your foot. As you breathe in, lift the sole of the foot to the sky and then as you exhale, bend the leg, folding the heel back down towards your glute, keeping the tension on your band or strap. Inhale, straighten the leg-ish. Exhale, rebend. And take a few of these reps, bending and lengthening as we start to warm up into the hamstring. Moving with the breath, keeping the tension through the strap. Now the next time that the sole of the foot comes to the sky, pause here. You don't need to lock out the knee, you can keep it a little bit soft. And if you can feel a hamstring stretch here, then pause here. If you like and if it's comfortable, you might start to walk the left leg away from you, long to the mat. And as we breathe into your hamstring here, just let the weight of your hands and your arms do the work. Let your shoulders be heavy, your arms be soft, and your shoulders be grounded. Try not to lift the right hip up off the mat too much, keeping the hips square. If the stretch eases at all, then you might find you can draw it a little bit closer in, and you might not. That's okay. One more breath. And then from here, work the strap or the band into your right hand and place your left hand on top of your left hip bone. So working through the Suttahasa Padangla Svasana series here. Now that left hand is just for awareness on your left hip. As you next breathe in, 
Start to open your right leg out to the side, keeping the left hip and the left side of your body grounded as much as you can. And then as you next breathe out, draw that leg back up towards the ceiling. Use a little bit of core there. Transfer the strap or the band into your left hand and take your right hand out wide, placing it on the ground. Now draw your right leg across your body just until you feel a stretch into the outer part of your hip. So all through the outer edge of your right leg where your IT band is. Again, try not to pick up the right hip off the ground too much. And then draw the right leg all the way back up to the sky. Both hands come onto the strap and draw the right leg in into the hamstring stretch. Then as you exhale, bend your right leg and release it all the way down to the earth knee to the sky and foot on the ground. It's time for the left leg's turn. So as you next breathe in, lift the left leg up to the sky, hook the band around and find a gentle hamstring stretch with the heavy arms, the heavy shoulders. And try not to assume that you are the same on both sides here. Your left hamstring may be very different. So once you've got used to that sensation, you might just stay. You might also work your right leg out long to the mat now. Breathing slowly into the back of the leg. Two more breaths. Now transfer the strap into your left hand and place your right hand on top of your right hip bone. As you next breathe in, let the left leg float out to the side, opening through the inside of your left leg, whilst keeping your shoulders and your right hip grounded on the mat. Then as you exhale, use your core to draw the leg back through center. Okay, now transfer the strap into your right hand and lay out your left hand to the side, planting it on the ground. Draw your left leg across your body until you feel that stretch into the IT band again. Breathing here, this part can often be very tight if we are runners or even if we just walk a lot. And then drawing the leg back up through center and releasing the left leg all the way down. Take your strap and just place it onto the side, onto the ground by the side of you. Now from here, you have a choice when moving to a seated position. So you can either draw your legs over your head, take your hands onto the back of your legs and rock and roll a few times. Or you might just roll onto one side of your body and press to a seated position that way whichever way you choose, swinging your legs round when you arrive upright and making your way back to a downward facing dog. So take your hands about shoulder width apart, tuck your toes and as you exhale, lift your hips up and high. And you might like to pedal out the legs here, just continuing to wake up the hamstrings. Maybe nod your head no, shake it yes. Or the way around, shake it now, nod it yes, release the back of the neck. And then come to find some stillness in your downward facing dog. You might keep your heels lifted, your knees bent and find the length of the spine. Take a breath here. And then as you next exhale, let your knees gently touch down onto the mat. You can lift up your torso if you'd like to draw your right foot all the way forwards. Now here, if you have some blocks, you might think about bringing them in and placing them either side of your right foot. In fact, I strongly suggest that you do that. I just don't have any. And if you don't have blocks, you can use some blocks as well. 
I'm going to place my fingertips onto the mat, but your hands might be on the blocks here. So here we have low lunge. As you next exhale, start to walk the blocks or your hands backwards as you straighten into your right leg itch. That right heel might need to come forwards a little bit and turn your right toes to the sky. Half splits are the hand renasana. Now we're going to flow from one pose to the other here as we dynamically work into the right hamstring. So as you breathe in, ground your right foot, send your hips forwards. As you breathe out, send your hips backwards, the right leg moves straight ish. Inhale, rock forwards, low lunge. Exhale, rock back, half splits. And find a few more of these, working with your own breath, your own body. And the sensations, the feelings that are there. Now the next time that you come back to half splits, pause here. So you're up nice and high on the blocks, so we've got a nice long spine. Now if you already feel a stretch here, stay here. Otherwise as you exhale, you might start to fold. Now as you fold over that front leg, try not to just curve the top part of your spine down and look down. Keep a lift of the heart as though you could move your heart towards your toes. Try and stay really active with your legs here as well. So it's like you're trying to drag your right hip back along the mat and your left knee forwards. Nice active legs. If you fold it, inhale, lift back up and exhale, transfer the weight back into the right leg. Draw yourself all the way back. So right knee joins the left knee at the back of the mat. Pick up the hands and we'll go on the second side. Left foot steps forwards, bring the blocks in to frame the front foot. Inhale, moving into your low lunge. And exhale, rock your hips back. Remember you might need to adjust that left heel forward so that the left toes can curl to the sky. And let's find that flow on this side. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, work the hips back, half splits. Take this a few times. Noticing how this feels on this side. Maybe moving your hands or your blocks backwards and forwards if needed so you can keep that length in the spine. And the next time you rock it back to half splits, pause here. Stay up nice and high, breathe in. And then as you exhale, stay or fold over the front leg. Again, keep the legs really nice and active, like you're trying to drag your left heel back and your right knee forwards. Inhale, if you fold and lift back up, and exhale, transfer the weight back into the front leg. Step the left leg all the way back, and then swing your legs all the way around in front of you. I'm just going to turn so you can see this a little bit better. So with both feet extended in front of you, now draw your right foot into the center. So the right sole of the foot meets the inside of your left leg with the right knee out to the side. Jani Shashasana. You might want to draw your strap back in and hook it around the center of that foot. Take a breath in and find length. And then as you exhale, start to gently fold. And again, try and keep the length in the spine. So it's like you're trying to let your heart eventually meet your toes. And so we're going to get there, but that keeps that length through the spine. If you can reach the foot, then take your hands and press the thumbs into the big toe mound. And um, we'll find one more breath here. And then nice and slowly, letting the head coming up last, working your way back up. And we'll take that on the second side. So swap the legs over, right leg long, and the left sole of the foot folded in. Find the strap around the center of the right foot. Inhale the length through the spine, and exhale to fold over the right leg. Three breaths here, wherever you are. And know that if some frustration is here, if you have really tight hamstrings, 
it's okay. You do not need to fold very much. Your leg never needs to be locked out straight. You can always keep a bend in it if that is more comfortable. And we have one more breath. And then inhale, working your way back up with the head coming up last. Just take your strap and place it out to the side and meeting in a comfortable seated position. Hands into the lap or onto the legs and gently close into the eyes. Finding a final couple of breaths here together. So the next breath in, take a long breath through the nose and then let it go. Breathing in and letting go. Bring the hands through to heart center. And thank you so much for practicing with me today. I'll see you back here very soon. Namaste.